While it's common knowledge that free cheese is only in the mouse traps, there are the best free antivirus options that can make or break your online experience hidden amongst malicious or scammy providers. Ready to check them out? If you are brave enough, Total AV will be our first free antivirus today. The most important thing is that I'm not worried about getting a scammy provider here. Total AV is a reputable antivirus with a long history of development and improvement. It consistently ranks high on independent audits by AV test and AV comparatives. But that's the premium version getting tested. How does the free one fare? Well, I think we all understand that all free antivirus versions are limited by their nature. In Total AV's case, it has an anti-malware scanner and anti-phishing protection for one device, and that's it. It means that you are limited to only one device at any time. There's no real-time protection, system cleanup tools, or additional security add-ons like VPN, ad blocker, or password manager. While those add-ons are not mandatory, real-time protection can save you a lot of time since it monitors your device for approaching threats at all times. Without it, free users are forced to do regular scans to keep themselves safe, which I won't recommend for beginners who might not keep to the schedule. If you are not sure if the Total AV free version will be enough for you, go get a premium for free. Yeah, despite the premium being priced pretty reasonably, there's also a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's not a long-term solution, but if the option to try the full service is there, I will take it. To at least use the system, clean up, and take advantage of the advanced cloud-based scanning. You should do it as well, and so that you don't have to spend a lot before getting your refund. I have deals in the description that will make the Total AV Premium even cheaper. That said, if you can remind yourself to do scans from time to time, Total AV Free Antivirus is a good enough option to protect yourself from threats. Just remember that the free version covers only a single device. You won't be able to use Total AV elsewhere or share it with your family. Bitdefender is more or less a similar case. It's an antivirus provider with one of the best reputations on the market, according to independent audits by AV Test and AV Comparatives. I noticed some of you guys also like Bitdefender quite a bit, but for everyone else, let me explain what makes Bitdefender a great free antivirus option. To begin with, unlike Total AV, Bitdefender includes real-time protection for free, so you don't have to bother yourself with manual scans every few days. That doesn't mean you can't scan the Bitdefender free version that has this feature as well, alongside web attack prevention. Still, all those things are limited to one device, similarly to Total AV. Even if that doesn't stop Bitdefender from being possibly the best free antivirus for Windows 10 or 11, still keep it in mind. While this is a lot of functionality for a free provider, Bitdefender's Premium offers even more security features. While a VPN, password manager, and optimization tools might not be needed for everybody, I would honestly recommend the Premium version for phishing protection alone. It's a growing threat with millions of victims all around the world. Ransomware is not something to scoff at either, so having measures against it is a given. Even if you are not planning to upgrade, I recommend giving a 30-day money-back guarantee a try. It's essentially free, and it's better to see if you need the full capabilities of Bitdefender before convincing yourself you are fine with the bare minimum. It might sound dramatic, but being frugal at the cost of your security is not the wisest choice, especially since Bitdefender has some nice introductory plans with lower prices. Another best free antivirus pick I want to cover is Avira. At this point, I expect that much, but the AV test and AV comparative gave Avira good marks, so no problems with the security aspects. Now, what are you getting with the Avira free version? Most importantly, real-time protection, though notably web and email protection is not included, unlike Bitdefender's real-time protection. But Avira is the only free provider I've tested with a generous list of additional features available to all free users. This includes a file shredder, file quarantine, device optimization tools, a limited password manager, and a VPN with 500 megabytes of monthly data cap. Rough limitations on those last two, so I would still recommend using a premium version if these features are relevant to you. Though a bit of a spoiler, if you really need a good, effective VPN with antivirus capabilities, Skip to the later point. I'll have exactly what you need. But for now, back to Avira. 
As I mentioned, Avira is quite generous for a free provider. But then what does the premium add? Well, first of all, no more limitations on features. Secondly, full web and mail protection, so no more malware encounters online. Thirdly, a software updater and customer support. Yeah, you heard me right. Free users will not get any support from Avira, not even a chance to send an email asking for help. Personally, I do not feel comfortable when I can't contact customer support for my security apps. As for software updater, it's a nice feature that updates my drivers automatically. Not much to speak of, but you can still try Avira out essentially for free with a huge two month money back guarantee. As I always say, if you have an opportunity, why let it pass you by? Perhaps you will enjoy the premium enough to keep it. These are all the best antivirus free options, but I also want to mention a couple of free trials that might be of interest to you. The first one here is an industry leading Norton antivirus. While it's not free, there is a seven day trial and a 60 day money back guarantee, just like with Avira. Norton is one of the most feature rich providers right now, including all the features I've mentioned with previous providers and more. Its independent testing results also prove Norton's capabilities. Overall, I can recommend trying this best antivirus option for two months and then refunding at the very least. It's one of the top antivirus options right now, so you will only benefit from using it. Two more options worth discussing are VPNs with antivirus support. Surfshark, for instance, has an antivirus bundle that was audited by AV Test this year and shows promising results with an emphasis on online protection. This option might interest those who spend more time online than working with files on their devices. Besides, Surfshark is cheaper than any antivirus plus VPN combo, and it has a seven day free trial and a 30 day money back guarantee. NordVPN is similar, except that it has a security feature, threat protection, not an antivirus. This feature doesn't offer a malware scan, but it can catch malicious files if you start downloading one by accident. It works really well as web protection, stopping you from entering malicious sites and getting rid of ads. If you need something like that, consider checking out the free trial or the money back guarantee. Since I don't want to just throw these paid options on you, go check the link in the descriptions to grab discounts for them. Consider it an apology for talking about premiums in a free best antivirus video. So to conclude this topic, you can find a good antivirus free of charge. And if you need one, Total AV, Bitdefender or Avira are all good options, each with a dedicated niche and certain benefits. But do not limit yourself to a free option. Premium versions often provide better protection on all levels. So if you can afford it, I argue you should consider it or at least give the money back guarantee a try. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and remember, I will leave any relevant discounts in the description below, so do not miss them. If you are further interested in antiviruses, watch this video. Yeah, the one on the screen right now.